Virgo. Hey, Virgo. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I'm here to do your weekly love reading. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. This is general. It will not resonate with all of you Virgos out there. Do check your Moon or Rising sign for additional messages. All right, Virgo, so let's hop into your love reading this week. This will be from the 19th through the 26th. Let it be great. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, Virgo. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. All right, so let's see what we got for you this week in love, Virgo. I am doing a um, how does he or she feel kind of. I'm going to kind of look into their feelings this week. All right, so let's see what we got, Virgo. So when it comes to your person and how they, um, sorry, not how they, their current energy towards you. Queen of Cups. What's on their mind? Two of Pentacles. Their intentions. The High Priestess. How they feel about you. Death card in reverse. Um, what they want from you, War of Cups, the Challenge, Knight of Wands, Potential Outcome, Eight of Wands, at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords, Victory, Success, Communication, Clarity, Truth, Communication, could be with an air sign, alrighty, so yes, um, Virgo, what do you guys have going on this week? Let's go ahead and hop in. So I just feel like you guys are dealing with someone. I mean, how they feel towards you, the death card. This can be someone from your past that just can't seem to let go. It can be a Scorpio. Maybe they have Scorpio on their chart. But it's like, they don't want to let this go. <laughs> it's like, they're like, no. I don't want to let this go. All right? Their energy towards you, um, Virgo, is a queen of cups. So someone is in love. Someone is offering their cup. You guys can be dealing with someone very intuitive. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe you have that in your chart, Virgo. But someone is ready to offer a love. Their foot is in the water. Someone is catching feelings, has feelings, or is already in love, okay, with you. And they want to make this offer, this love offer. This Queen of Cups has her cup out, all right? I'm not definitely taking all those, Virgo. Um, let's see. What happened? What did I just do? Oh, yeah. That would have been way too many. So, yeah. It's like this person, like their, their cup is up. Sorry, I got lost, Virgo. Sorry. So, yeah, like, their, their cup is out. Like, they're ready to offer. So, we have the Queen of Cups here. Someone is in love. Like I said, someone has feelings. So, let's see. Going to this Queen of Cups. This is their energy towards you. Two of Swords reverse. Mm, if this is something new, then it's like this person, like, no doubt in their mind, they want to move forward with you. Two of Swords reverse. There could have been someone else in the picture. They got rid of that person. For others of you, they probably want you to get rid of someone that you're dealing with or in the picture. Or that was in the picture. Sorry. Um, let's see. Going to this Two of Swords reverse. So I have this Two of Swords reverse. For Virgo's person. And their energy towards Virgo. Five of Wands. Wow. So you beat out the competition. That's what I'm getting. This person wants to move forward with you. We have the two of pentacles here. This is what's on their mind. So I feel like for some of you guys, they were weighing things up practically. They had to make a decision. For, for some of you guys, I don't feel like you knew that they were messing around with other people. I feel like you kind of knew, but you didn't know. You guys could could have been just dating, okay? Because um, I don't see nothing really serious here just yet. But let's see. One to the two of pentacles. Why are the two of pentacles here? Nine of swords reverse. Yeah, this person needed to get out, out of their head. They had a lot going on. This person is finally catching up on sleep. They're finally resting. So they were going through something. And it's like by them finally catching up on sleep, resting, you know, out of their negative thoughts, it's it's helping them make a decision. Our decision has been made. Why is it not a sword reverse? Six of wands. Yeah, they're coming towards you. So this is someone that wants to date you, that wants to be exclusive. This is victory for movement. Okay. I feel like you've offered to this person before. 
but it's like they're coming towards you and they're going to make this offer. If not, if you haven't offered to them already, it's like, it's like they want you to be their girl or they want you to be their guy or they want you to be their guy. Going to the six of wands could be a fire sign as well. Yep, eight of pentacles. Someone sees long term. Someone wants a relationship. They hope you feel the same. Six of wands, eight of pentacles, the queen of cups is there. They're expressing themselves. Someone's going to open up and express themselves to you this week. We do have the high priestess here, Pisces energy. So someone feels like you're the one. They feel like you're the one, Virgo. Someone could have been mixing some um, stuff up, you know. We have the high priestess here. Maybe someone was doing some rituals, spell work, etc. But if not, it's just like you're just, your intuition is just on point, okay? And it's like you know it and they know it. Or, but this is their energy towards you or their feelings towards you, how they feel towards you. But it's like either both of you guys know, but with the high priestess here, there is a connection. There, This is a spiritual connection. You guys, I feel like you guys both know that. See, justice is here. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah, this definitely is a connection. You guys might have a soul contract with each other. Why is justice here? And this person will be right by you with the high priestess and justice. They have good intention. Six of pentacles. Yep. Wow. For some of you guys, you've met the one. Because we have the six of pentacles with justice. The justice skills are balanced. This person was meant to be in your life at this time or they're meant to come into your life at this time. Or there's just a deep connection and it's going to bring you guys together. Or something is bringing you guys together. This is the, yeah, this is beautiful here. All right. Um, with the high priestess, justice, and the six of pentacles. And this person has good intentions. Go into the death card in reverse. And this is how they feel towards you. And that's what I'm saying with the death card in reverse. I just feel like they don't want this to end. Like this is something that they see long term. Like they just don't want this to end. They don't want you to, to let go. Like already they're like, they got high hopes. They're thinking about the future. All of that. Why is the death card in reverse? King of pentacles is coming up in reverse. For some of you guys, they're coming out of a commitment. Or like they're needing to come out of a committed relationship with the King of Pentacles in reverse. Could be another um, Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Or it's like um, they need to wrap up something with their past. Let me see. Why is this King of Pentacles coming up in reverse? Two of Cups. The Empress in reverse. Yeah. Um, the Nine of Cups. There's, there's a lack of wish fulfillment in a relationship that they're in or there was. And they're coming out of it. They feel connected to you. The Two of Cups is here. Ten of Pentacles is at the bottom. They're coming out of something that was not wish fulfilling. Like they just weren't happy. They weren't satisfied. They don't see any more growth in that situation. And they're letting that go. And this is like, this is their feelings towards you. Would definitely be the Two of Cups. But there, some of you guys know about this situation here. For others of you, Virgo, I feel like... um. You kind of don't know, like you're just like, mm, is this the person I want to commit to or be with? It's like you may not see any growth in this situation, but there definitely is a connection. Going to this Two of Cups here, Eight of Wands, there's a connection. Yeah. And I feel like you guys been, you know, messages have, you've been getting signs, messages have been coming in, you guys could be dreaming. You know that there's a connection. They, You guys both do, okay? Um, what they want from you is the Four of Cups. So I just feel like this person doesn't want you to feel rejected. They don't want to let you down with the four of cups. Like they don't want you to feel rejected, bored. They don't want to let you down. This person could be going through something and maybe they're needing to suppress their emotions and feelings or release um, emotions that they've been holding in. Because there, there goes that cup there. Why is the four of cups here? See the knight of cups. They're coming in. They're coming in with an apology, a reconciliation, love, expressing themselves. So with this Queen of Cups here, I feel like maybe you don't know this person feels like that. Maybe you don't know how, maybe you don't know this person feels this way towards you. Okay? And this is what is coming towards you this week. Why is this Nine of Cups here? See the Page of Pentacles and they're coming with an offer. Love it. And they've been thinking about you. For some of you guys, this is someone from your past. Okay, with the Six of Cups, Page of Pentacles. But there is a soulmate connection. I told you guys that. Six of Cups, Two of Cups, High Priestess, Justice. Yeah, there's definitely a connection here. Okay, so it's like they know you're the one. Someone knows you're the one for them. Now the challenge is the Knight of Wands, though. Now the Knight of Wands is someone that's passionate. There's a lot of passion here, chemistry. 
And I feel like maybe in the past or before, that's what it was about. They were the Knight of Wands, coming in as a Knight of Wands. And you wanted more than that. You're like, okay, I want more than just the passion. I want the commitment. That's why we have the King of Pentacles coming up in reverse. So for some of you guys, this could be someone from your past that just didn't want to settle down, didn't want to commit. They could have already been in another situation. And they said that there's no growth in that situation. So they they were the Knight of Wands in your life, coming in and out. Like I said, it you liked them. They were attractive. Knight of Wands is usually attractive. And it's like you wanted more than that. You're like, okay, could you offer me more than that? I want more than just you being this knight of wands in my life. You're like, I want you to offer me a relationship. I want commitment. I want something more stable. Okay, so let's see why the knight of wands is here. Because this is a challenge. This was the current challenge. Why is the knight of wands here? See the star in reverse. And for some of you guys, that's why you kind of gave up on this. Because you're like, okay, when you're going to come into my life as more than just a knight of wands, then maybe we can have something. Maybe we can move forward. And I feel like that's what you guys wanted. Why is the star in reverse? The ten of swords. Yeah, you felt hurt. You felt betrayed by this person. Five of swords in reverse. And this is them coming back to communicate with you. They're wanting to let go of the past. Are they want to put the past behind you guys? That's the challenge. So it's kind of like, are you going to let them back in? But it's like someone knows that you're the one. If this is someone new that's in your life that you just met, it's like they could be coming in as a knight of wands. Or maybe that's just the energy they're in. And you're kind of like, okay, I like you. I feel a connection. I feel something there. But I want more than just the knight of wands. And maybe you have the, the knight of wands energy in your past. Or maybe you keep attracting that type. But I don't feel like, let's see if this is someone new. I don't fight this with the seven of cups in reverse, judgment in reverse. The page of swords, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like you like this person, but it's like you're you're blocking it out. Like so, like say if they message you and say something to you, um, like oh you're sexy or oh I want to do this to you or oh I was I looked at your butt or something like that. You're just kind of blocking it out. Like oh okay, I hope I hope you want to get to know me more than what you want to do to me. It's like that kind of energy. You have the sun card, and they're gonna respect it. And they're going to back down. They're going to not back down like stop talking to you, but they're going to respect how you feel. They're going to even respect you even more. Ten of Pentacles, they're going to want to commit to you even more. So it's like either way it goes, like I said, this is someone from the past or someone new. I see good intentions. There's good energy here. I don't see this as, um, as bad. Someone actually is ready. Let's see why the Eight of Wands is here. But like I said, this person knows you're the one. Um, Eight of Wands is here. This is the um, potential outcome. So messages coming in, you guys being consistent. This is someone traveling, back and forth communication. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Temperance, yeah. For some of you guys, this is a reconciliation coming in. Or this is just things working behind the scenes. Soulmate energy again. Ten of Wands reverse. This person is not going to come with stress and burdens and anxiety and all that other bullshit like you were dealing with in the past. There is a past like soulmate connection here, Ace of Wands. There will be a new beginning, a new passionate beginning. If this is someone from your past, they were going through a lot. They put this relationship through a lot. They weren't committing in the past. They're coming in with this Ace of Wands. Their energy has shifted. They're motivated. They're ready. They're inspired. They want this relationship. They want a reconciliation. They released all their burdens, and now they're ready to extend the olive branch and give you something real with passion and commitment. All right? So that is what I do have for you guys. Let's pull your energy oracles, and let's see what we got. Let's see. We have the seat that came out. Messages for Virgo. Woman holding a heart. Yep, see, that's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying. You guys don't want to be deceived here because your heart is open still. Your heart is still with someone. It's open to someone. Are you ready to open your heart to love, but you don't want to be deceived? And see, look, we have a thinking man. And that's this person. They're coming in. They're thinking differently. Or like I said, if this is someone new, you're going to tell them how you feel. They're going to respect it. They're going to think about it. They're going to see that you're coming in with an open heart. Okay? Let's go into the deceit card. Yeah, see? So it's like the seven of wands and the star. For some of you guys, if this is someone from your past, you guys are going to heal that past deceit. If this is someone new, like I said, it's still going to move forward. You're just going to block out. Like It's not that you're blocking out, but it's like, I don't feel like they're coming in trying to be deceitful. Maybe the knight of wands, they like you a little bit too much. Are they really attracted to you? Or maybe that's just their energy. All right? So that is what I do have for you this week, Virgo. All right? I love you guys. If you guys want to book with me, you already know. Fireintuition.com. Bye, loves.